As Taylor Swift continues to tour with her Eras Tour, fans appear to have noticed a noteworthy hint that a significant announcement is imminent. In the midst of her gig, the 33 year old anti hero hitmaker, who is presently doing a run of gigs in Argentina, recently re released her 2014 album 1989. However, Many of Taylor's supporters believe that something more is in the works and that she will reveal the release of Reputation, Taylor's version, later this month. Taylor Swift's fans believe major announcement is on the cards. But after the Grammy nominees were released throughout the week, one of Taylor's colleagues, Aaron Dessner from The National, shared a recent image of the singer in a recording studio. Aaron posted a message on his Instagram page beneath a picture of Taylor that said, Congratulations to all the Grammy nominees, especially Taylor Swift, nominated several times for Midnights. So grateful to be some part of these journeys. Aaron and Taylor are well known for their work together on Taylor's solo albums Folklore and Evermore. They also co wrote the Red and Speak Now re recordings and the 2022 album Midnights. However, in light of Aaron's most recent post, fans now believe that a new project may be in the works. Many speculate that an ever more long pond studio session may be in the works, which is a continuation of Taylor's recent outfit choices that are eerily reminiscent of Evermore. In addition, Taylor's November 3 clothing matches the one she wore in the photo Aaron posted. One admirer said on Twitter, which was relaunched as X recently, Evermore, the long pond studio sessions. They then added, this or 1989 TV acoustic. I'm manifesting. Meanwhile, another fan shared Aaron's story alongside snaps of Taylor's recent brown hued outfits, writing, We were so right, besties. Evermore LPSS are coming. Replying to the tweet, one fan added, What if she releases it for Evermore's B Day since we always tease her for not wishing it a happy birthday? While someone else said, Stop, you may be onto something. 